Hey, groups, great to see you all again. I hope you guys are doing well and enjoying uh, spring and the hopes of summer coming up here soon. Um, this past week, we talked about what it means to train your kids. Um, and I think uh, to that Olympic runner example, how, how much it took for Olympic athletes to train, right? It takes tons of time. It takes eating the right things. It takes breathing in the right areas. I mean, their, their whole lives are focused around this one event. And some of those events are like a 100-meter dash where it's only 30 seconds and then that moment's gone. Um, I think, um, and I hope as, as you went through some of these Proverbs in the teaching this week, that we realize as parents that even though the Olympics seem important and um, it's, it's a big deal, I think... Our eternal lives, especially for our kids, the ones that we are teaching, um, are way more important. So what would it look like in our lives to have that kind of momentum going in for training? Um, so I hope that as we talk about training over uh, these next few group questions that you're excited about what it means uh, to take those next steps. So we're going to jump right into it. Question number one says this. What is something that you've had to train for, um, and what did training look like for you? All right, question number two. I want you guys to start out by reading Proverbs 4, 1 through 4, and then answer these two questions. Um, has there been anything that you wished that you had listened to when your parents offered you instruction or guidance on something? And then also, anything that you wish that they would have instructed you on? Maybe they missed the boat on something. Is there anything that you wished you had instruction on? We're going to jump into question three, but uh, most of these go a little bit more specific if you have direct relationship with a bunch of kids or your own kids. So if you feel like these don't apply necessarily to you, I really encourage you to jump down to the digging deeper section. Um, those are some really good questions that, that can be really applied to your life as well. But question number three says this, when you look at how your kids are living, what kind of influences do they have in your life? Um, talk about the good and the maybe not so good that are surrounding them. Question number four. Proverbs 22 verse 6 says, Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. And the question that comes out of that is, in what ways have you trained up your children or the children around you? Are there things that are the non-negotiable things in life, the biblical values that you say, these I need you to know. What are those? Question number five, how do you show children your values? How do they, maybe you tell them, but how do you actually show them that these matter to you? With the other understanding that there is a pretty big difference between just telling and actually showing, um, how can you live your life differently to make sure that your kids are seeing you live that kind of a lifestyle, um, that they're looking to you and won't be ashamed to be modeling your behaviors or your attitude. So what does showing look like in your life? And as always, um, make sure you wrap up the night 
Uh, if there's anything that stuck out to devotions or in the message that you'd like to talk about, um, or um, make sure that you end in prayer as well. We strongly believe in the power of prayer um, in our group, so make sure you do that. Um, and if you have time after that, check out the Digging Deeper section. It dives into the idea of what does it mean to train for our lives, even personally? What does training look like? Um, so I hope you guys have a great week, um, and we will talk to you all soon.